20 years in prison. That's the sentence handed down today for Michael Draca. The 49 year old was found guilty just six weeks ago in the manslaughter death of Marquise McLaughlin outside of a Clearwater convenience store. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser has reaction to Draca's sentence from the Pinellas Courthouse. I know in the Bible, they, um, it talks about uh, you got to forgive those who trespass against you. But at this point in my life, I'm not there yet. And uh, if the Lord just so happened to choose to take me before I get to that point, I guess me and Michael Drake will have to finish that in hell. The case got national attention after Draca shot and killed McLaughlin outside a Clearwater convenience store. A confrontation started with an argument over McLaughlin's girlfriend pulling her car into a disabled person's space. Outside the courthouse, McLaughlin's family and attorneys had mixed feelings about the sentence. And we feel that it is fair. Of course, we'd have liked to see uh, Michael Draca maxed out at 30 years, but we believe that 20 is fair and appropriate. <sighs> we all fought hard for this day, and now I can go home and tell my children that the killer didn't get away with murder um, of their daddy. Michael Draco showed no emotion as Judge Joseph Bulone sentenced the 49-year-old to two decades behind bars. I'm going to sentence you to 20 years in the Department of Corrections. Six weeks earlier, a jury had convicted Draca of manslaughter in the shooting death of Marquise McLaughlin, a deadly confrontation captured on surveillance cameras. Let me say this about the video. Believe your own eyes. Draca has 30 days to appeal. His defense attorneys say that process is already underway and that they believe they have several grounds upon which to do so. Asked about that, attorneys for Marquise McLaughlin's family say they see no legal reason why either the verdict or the sentencing would be overturned in this case. Although Draca never used a stand your ground defense during his trial, the case once again put the spotlight on Florida's controversial law. Attorneys for McLaughlin's family say they hope his conviction will persuade Florida lawmakers to revisit and clarify the law, which they say treats people of color unfairly.